Hi, Anna. So <laughs> you're now you're going to show us how the visually impaired uh, do reading, right? Yes, we can actually read. Oh my god. <laughs> a lot of people assume, well, I decided to do this video. As you know, I've been um, doing these YouTube videos because I want to um, educate the public and show uh, the viewers how that we, the blind, are able to function, that we can still do things. So a lot of people usually ask me if, um, you know, how, how do I do reading? Or they assume right away, uh, they assume right away that I was... Someone uh, does, you know, the reading for me, even my mail. I actually um, have done, you know, my reading using the computer mm -hmm. uh, and using a scanner and using a um, um, recorder and just different devices that we can use to do reading. Um, I went to Cal State Fullerton and, um, you know, did graduate work. Uh, so most people assumes right away that someone did my reading for me and or that I went to special classes and no I attended the regular classes just with all the graduates and um, the way I got my books um, years ago used to be on audio cassettes and then CDs and now we download books from you know the website and uh, Kindle books and all those new uh, e-text books that uh, they have available but the way I do my reading, I use a computer, and I have shared before that I use a, a program named Just for Windows. It's a speech program that is installed on the computer. So I listen to whatever I type. Zero, two, four, this is how it sounds. I know it sounds a little weird, but we get used to it. And then um, I usually have my monitor off because I'm totally blind. I don't need it. Uh, people that is partially blind and they use large print um, or Zoom text, um, you know, they have the monitor um, on. But for me, I usually have it off. Uh, again, we do not use the mouse because we're not able to see and click on whatever you're um, selecting on the computer, right? We use a combination of hotkeys. And of course, we, the blind, uh, have to learn how to use to the computer like anybody else, a Microsoft Word and different programs, internet. So to do that, we have to use a combination of hotkeys uh, shortcut keys, we also call it. For example, if I want to read what's on my screen, we do the insert T, T as in Tom. I'll press the insert, which is on the numeric keypad, is, we call it insert, but it's a zero. Uh, and this is uh, the numeric keypad, has to be off. Insert T. Zero, two, four, read only compatibility mode, Microsoft. It tells me the title. It sounds, you probably don't understand, but um, it, it's a chapter that I have. Um, it's a book that I have on CD. So the different ways that we read, um, the way I have my books is on, on a CD. I have a CD in my computer. I open up the chapter, and I'm going to go to the top of the document. It's Control Home. Page 16. It says page 16 because it, chapter 2 starts on page 16. And then I'm, I'm gonna, I am gonna I can make it read. I can arrow down. Blank, chapter 2. It says chapter 2. Blank, the counselor, person and professional. The counselor, pens, uh, you Wait. know, I don't know if you understand. Introduction. Now I can arrow down or I can read the whole thing and we do the um, zero on the numeric keypad, insert, and the number two, and it'll just read. Introduction. The counselor is a therapeutic person. Personal characteristics of effective counselor. And I'm Personal used to the, the speed. I can make it slow while process. that is reading the role, the role of by counseling. pressing the, the page the down. Role of the role of the Personal counseling for the counselor. The counselor See, now it's slower. Mm -hmm. the okay. But I'm, I get annoyed with this, the, you know, the role of the counselor's values and the counselor dealing with the work of the sharing responsibility with the client. See, you can go fast. Uh -huh. page two. So that, that is one that of the ways that, that I, um, you know, how I do reading. Now I can also read, you know, using um, my. Um, Whatever they send me by email, a lot of people think that we're the blind are not able to email, but we actually are. So I'm going to open my inbox. We use Outlook to read our email. We don't have to go on the website and click on all those links. So I have a shortcut key for my uh, inbox is Control Alt M for mail. It said that it it has a problem. So, so this is my inbox outlook. It's very easy for us to use and I just arrow up and down to hear what message is like. Okay, so I arrow up and down to hear. It says unread. So if I want to read that, I'll press enter on that. 
And then I can arrow down to read, you know, the... Land. I can't believe it. We're only one week away. See, I'm arrowing down just to read what's on the email. Or I can just use the insert to and read it all, but I can just arrow down. And then I can just respond by doing control R. And I can just start typing. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? I'm going to escape and escape. ask him if I want to save the changes. Escape. So that's one way to read my emails. Now the other thing we, way we can uh, read is this is a digital recorder. So I have a book in there and it's already on so I can just play it. DB71734. Copyright 2010. It's a book. Red oh, lines. Okay. This so, book contains 398 pages. Approximate reading time. And I can, hours, you know, just minutes. forward. 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 20 seconds. New location mm -hmm. within. Library of Congress annotation. And this Mr. is, um, 15. I usually read, this one I use it to read books for pleasure. Like this is the Hunger Games book. Mm. And the other way, way that we can read is... Uh, this is called the Victor Stream Reader. I have shared this before, and um, I have um, books in this. Um, I have an SD card that I have different books. Bookshelf. It's his bookshelf. Notes. If you cannot hear. Notes. Um, Notes. Notes. Mm -hmm. Notes. And then you can just you know play it. Note. So I recorded you know something, and it is there. So that's another way to um, read. One that I really like, it's, 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 a, it's a software, well this is a regular scanner, uh -huh. but we have a program that is a program called Kurzweil, uh, K-U-R-Z-W-E-I-L, Kurzweil, and it's a reading software for the blind, Kurzweil 1000, that is a one that is Kurzweil 3000, but it's, um, the 1000 is for blind or visually impaired people, and that allows us to scan, um, to scan whatever is not you know, on CD or a different format. This is for text. Um, like I use it to read my mail pretty much. I, I love it. And it has different voices. You can set it up to to read um, whatever voice you want to. to do. So I'm gonna, you place whatever, you know, the mail. You uh -huh. make sure that it's, it's in there. So this is how I read my mail. And then the program, you, the program is installed on the computer, and then whatever you scan is going to transfer that into, you know, the, the Kurzweil, the reading program, is going to read it out loud. It's not going to be the JAWS program, so I'm going to turn it on. My hot key for Kurzweil is Control alt k Control k And once you turn Hello, that... Hello, and welcome to the Kurzweil 1000, version 13.03. Press the rectangle. See? The voice is different, because uh -huh. this is not JAWS. So it's like... Um, I know it's open, and then for us to scan, it's uh, F9. Scanning, please wait. Let's do and see if that's going to scan. I think he's doing that. It's pretty good. It's, it's you know, for magazine, newspaper, or scan anything complete. that is on a handout, like when I got one, handouts one, from one, class. Page one complete. Okay. See eyes GPS. Tap, tap, see blind. So that is, um, you know, I set it up for it to start reading whatever I scan, but you, you can stop it here and then you can just continue reading. I'm going to press um, the series to play. Blind and visually impaired camera. Seven. Text detected is an OCR app that can read some printed materials. Five. And, and this is really good because, you know, we, a lot of the mail is, is, you get mails on letters and it's not electronic. Now a lot of the mail is electronic, so I'm, you know, I get those by email and just is, you know, reads that for me. But for the course while, it's, 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 it's very good for um, people that want to read their mail, especially for older adults and with a blind that we don't have, you know, a lot of help from someone. Uh, this program, I can also convert, you know, copy and paste and make it into a Word document mm -hmm. or I can actually go and actually type and if this is a form that I have to fill out, I can go on the form and actually fill it up, you know, fill it out. Wow. So that's, um, that's one, another way to, to read. Um, now with the iPhone, let me unlock my iPhone. Unlock. Unlock. Okay. Facebook. Two new items. I love the iPhone. Camera. Safari. And let me, this is, uh, I don't know if I have time to show this. Phone. A little bit. 87 unread messages. 
Okay, I click on my mail. Uh -huh. And that's how I get, I, you know, I have my, my, in, my in email. Okay. So, I hear mailboxes, so I click on it, double click with a double finger. And now I get a list of my emails. Mailboxes. Inbox. 87 unread messages. Inbox. 87 unread messages. 87 unread messages. VIP. Mailboxes. Headed. Drafts. Send. See? So my draft, my send. Trash. And I can, I can just go and read my email, and then I'll do another video to show how we uh, email using the iPhone because it's pretty cool. It allows us to be very independent. But I thought I would share how to, um, with a blind uh, read, and uh, that's not true. Not, um, we can be very independent, and not, um, we don't depend on other people to do all the reading. Thanks for watching. Thank you. <laughs>